Hello everyone. Good evening. I am Lakshmi Kanti. Today I am going to give information about how to create a blogspot in wordpress.com. Open a browser and in the URL you type wordpress.com. Click on. So get started. So click on get started. Let's create a site now. But the first step of this, what will, uh, select a name for your site. This site is, what is the site about? The site about maybe English tutorials or mentoring and training. So this site is about mentoring and training. The goal is already mentioned. The goal of our site is offer education, training, and mentoring. So, and what? How comfortable you are creating a website? So we are starting now. So we are the beginner stage. Select, click on first number one, and continue. And let's give your site an address. The English tutorial. We already selected. Kanti English tutorial wordpress.com. It is free. Select the free option. Click on it. Pick up a plan that is right for you. Personal, premium, business. So, but we are wanted to start with a free plan. So, start with the free and enter to create your account. Enter your email address. Choose an username. Already username given by that. Choose a password. And click on continue. So this one minute and will be right along. So our account is created. Continue. Clicking on continue. So now our web site English tutorial is primarily ready. So Manage your site from my site menu. See here my site and English tutorial in the left side top of it. So change your themes, design, and post the pages and manage your plans also. So select your site, start, go to in the site, start, click on it. You will see. Here, how many views, how many visitors that is traffic to your website will be shown. How many views, zero visitors, zero views, and zero likes and comments because this is the first time created. So, if you yeah, go to site pages and select either we can publish or we can save as draft or uh, we can. Uh, you can save them as draft or change as post to sticky post. Now click on this media and you can add images, documents, videos, even audio files. So, go to select themes to customize. See here available themes. And you want to three themes select three themes. So go through them, browse and select whichever you like. And you can want to customize your site depends on your like and select. We are customizing. So so we can control the design of your site, change your site title, update the colors and fonts, even add a header image. Explore the widgets to find new features and content to add to your website. Site identity. First click on that. What is the name? So we selected the title, English tutorial. You can view the tagline and you can even add a logo also can be set. 
site of site of icons are what you see in the browser tabs so bookmark box and all are available drop any files anyway to upload select files colors and backgrounds also can be changed and see the different palettes uh, for customizing backgrounds choose a color palette so that you can see i think the changes can be made very easily comfortably select whatever thing and you can also manually select anything instead of automatic setting so you can select an image and you can fonts also can be changed so default font will be there but heading different font and base font also can be different and you select the drop down menu is there so select from there the theme you like and arrange any other font sizes and font and widgets are also available to customize uh, for the comfort and uh, add a widgets and you can uh, audio files can be audio you display an audio player to display the blog site we follow blog stats also can be shown using an widget calendar also can be set so widgets is actually very useful for contact info and maps and and so on and so forth contact info and map hours info see that widget address can be also added here so your phone number also can be shown if you are adding the widget and your timings can be you always select the timings what are the free timings your lunch time and your working hours look at this the view larger map that means we can using the widgets we can post a map and we can see that the location can be posted also along with your address so these are the uses of the widgets and other tools in this wordpress and it is very helpful to create either web page or maybe a blog page for you so go and okay so use this facilities and uh, and create your blog spot and enjoy the themes and all so thank you